Hi there everyone, Josephine here. Welcome back to the Filipino and Dakota channel. If you're new, welcome. In this video, I will show you how to make a triple berry pie. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients. We have five cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter, chilled and should be cut into chunks. One and one half cup chilled vegetable shortening and one half cup of ice water. So in a bowl, we have uh, mixed together the flour and the salt and stir them, stir it with a fork or you can use a wire whisk make this thing up and then let's cut this butter and add it chunk by chunk as well as the shortening mix them together if you have a pastry blender or mixer you can use that too but if you don't you can just use fork mash the butter and the shortening so it will incorporate with your flour so you will have like a bread crumb result for this it's be it's gonna be easier if you have a strip blender or mixer so mix your flour and your shortening and butter thoroughly there you go it looks like a breadcrumb mixture already so you have to add your water gradually little by little so add one tablespoon at a time until your dough has become sticky and they cling together you can add all the one half cup ice water in here so just make sure that your dough is just enough for you to form it into balls so now it's go gooey okay so let's move it on a surface so let's floor the surface So your cross dough will look like this. So divide it into half. Form it into balls and Make it into a flat disc like this. And wrap it in a plastic wrap or a clean wrap. For me, I just use this plastic because it's easy for me to take out. I 
and let it rest in the refrigerator for two hours. Let us do the triple berry pie filling. So for the filling ingredients, we have six cups of mixed berries, raspberry, blueberry, and blackberry. And one cup of sugar. And we can add a little more because we need to sprinkle some sugar on top of the pie. And then we have one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of cornstarch, and one large egg white beaten with a fork. So in a large pot, we will put our berries. And sugar make sure to save some for later and then the lemon juice so over medium heat we will let <clears throat> the berries and the sugar simmer for around 10 minutes until <clears throat> The berries are warm and juicy. So we have to stir the berries, the berry mixture occasionally. So you can taste if the sweetness is just right. So we will scoop out about half a cup of the juice into a bowl. You can use fresh or frozen berries, but I prefer fresh ones. Okay, there you go. And then So we put the cornstarch and mix it with a fork, whisk it with a fork until thoroughly mixed. So this will serve as our thickener. We pour the mixed cornstarch back into the pot. Oh, I love that color. It's thoroughly mixed. And then let's turn the fire back on. So it, to thicken the uh, filling. So stir occasionally. Make sure not to mash all the berries. So we have to stir gently. So bring it to a boil until the corn start is cooked and the filling gets thicker. So I love the fresh berries because they don't give out a lot of water or a lot of juice unlike the frozen ones that it has already a mixture of ice in it. So this one is you're sure that it's pure without too much water. So it's easy to make it thicker unlike the fresh one the frozen ones I mean 
Okay, so now it's uh, their mixture is thick. So you can turn the, your fire off and then you can turn the stove off and then let the berries cool cool for maybe around 15 to 20 minutes after you turn your fire off your stove off you have to put in the butter before it gets cold because when it's cold the butter won't melt so just let the butter melt in there this will enhance the flavor of your filling we have to roll our dough so we will just use one ball because that recipe is good for two pies so I'm gonna make a pie a lattice top so we will have the other part for our topping and the other part for our crust so we use a rolling pin so for me I use um, damp cloth and um, parchment paper yeah you can also use um, floured surface if you want but this one is easy because we will transfer our crust into the pan so we will roll it thin until it will cover the 9 inch pie pan so make sure your crust is bigger than your plate at least two inches over your the rim of your pie plate so I want the thin crust pretty round now so this one is easy to transfer because all you have to do is just rub your plate here and or you can also roll it around your rolling pin and this one is easy for me so make sure your crust is at the center of your plate by plate you can put this in a fridge and now we will roll the top oh you can use a whole top or you can use a lattice top so I'll slice it with a pizza cutter because I want a lattice top So, turn your oven on, so our filling is already cold, so we will put, pour it in our crust. So, preheat your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit to spread the filling evenly inside your crust.
Oops. So fold the edges of your grass and crimp the ed edges with your finger. Now brush the edges of your, the top and the edges of your pie crust with the beaten egg whites. Pie is already in the oven. So we'll bake it at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. Check your pie after 25 minutes. And if it, the color is too brown, cover the pie with a foil. now taken the pie out of the oven and it's still steaming hot so we need to let it cool for 30 minutes before we slice it if you enjoyed watching this video please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will get updated of our next videos. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a nice day.